Vaughn, founder and CEO of Shane Addicts, a doctor endorsed wellness and fitness exercise practice. Today we're going to be combining yoga, Pilates, Tai Chi, martial arts, gyrokinesis, dance, and so much more. This is going to keep it fresh and it's going to keep it new. We concentrate on tri-core power training. And tri-core power training means that we're going to hit all three regions of the core. The 12 muscles that align the uh, stomach, uh, wrap around the obliques, underneath the pelvic floor, and up through the back. At the heart of Shane Eddicks are five living principles. They are commitment, perseverance, self-control, integrity, and love. And this is a way to really bring our Eastern philosophy and principles together with what I call our hectic Western lifestyle. So let's begin. So I welcome my students here today, and we will begin. Just take a nice big breath for me. It's called Wild Goose Flying, and you just let it come down. Stepping on your right foot, you're going to bring your hand in front and step. Beautiful. So these are nice and easy moves to warm up kind of keeps you flowing. You're going to do one more, then you'll be stepping to the right, reaching up. So step, beautiful. Do it again. Two more. Come to the front again with that right foot, right arm, and press. Nice. So loving hands, it's called. It's a Tai Chi move, just balancing and bringing energy. Stepping to the right again, bring it up. Reach. Let it flow nice and easy. And reach. Do it again. Beautiful. And let's do that one more time. Stepping on that right foot coming forward. Beautiful hands. Beautiful movement. Just being relaxed in it. And letting it flow. Step to the right for me. And reach. Lovely. And again. Nice and big. One more. Beautiful. Stepping apart just slightly. Inhale. Reach your hands up. Parallel your hands by your ears and reach over. Now make sure that you're squaring your shoulders so that this right shoulder is pulled forward and not back. And I'm going to ask you to do a little pulse. Parallel them a little bit closer together and pulse. Down eight times. Nice and gentle. Just really activating that oblique muscle. One more. Now drop down. Keep your legs straight. Big wind is coming up. Take it behind you. Bring it back. Cross your hands. Open up. Bring it down. Inhale, reach up. Flex your hands in front of you. Now lift your chest as you push back and arm. So it's not so much about just going back. It's about lifting that chest. Lift up. Inhale the breath. And exhale down. Let's do that on the other side. That's great. Reach over. Parallel your hands. Make sure that this time, the other shoulder is pulled forward on your left. Now halt. Beautiful. Nice and easy. Not too much. Just a little bounce. Hold it. Now turn. Bring it down. Big wind again. Coming up and around. Straighten the arm. Reach back behind you. Bring it front. Cross those hands. Inhale. And let it flow. Inhale. Reach up. Now, nice big arc as you're lifting that chest up, reaching back. Be in the moment with me. Be present. And exhale that way. Let's step into first position for me. Think tall with the spine. Lift the chin up and relevate for me. So you're coming into first position right here. Beautiful. Open up to second. Reach it up to high fifth. Now nice and easy, float the hands down in a Tai Chi breath and reach down. Now just pause right here so you get your back way up. And then you're going to reach out to me like you're going to hand me something. You're going to let your chest drop down between, keeping your hips up. And then you're going to open up and looking where you're going the whole time. And you exhale your breath. Inhale, reach up. Relevant. Open it up to second position. High third, way high. Working on your balance, working on your flow. Bring it down nice and gentle. Demi plie right here. Hold that demi plie and then reach out to me. All the way. Let the chest fall. Keep your hip high. Your back is supported. And reach out. And exhale. Pour it on your right foot. 
Then you do pushing the way. So this is a great Tai Chi move that just kind of gives you balance and flow with it. Now you're going to do a layout over your knee. Lift those hands up. Try to lay that chest looking forward. And then pull it back. And then reach back. Beautiful. Now take your right hand out and step to the side. Pull. Beautiful. And exhale back down. Let's do that again. So push the way. And pull back. Nice. So extend it as much as you can, but keeping your balance, not going on. And pull it back. So you can feel that quad working, yes? A lot, of, a lot of strength it takes to do it. Reach over, pull down, hold it. And nice and gentle, pull up on it. Keep that knee back in the front, your right knee. And then just reach out, don't bend too far. Take your right hand up and step on that foot and reach. Stepping back, exhale your breath. Step forward on the left foot. So push the way, reach it. Beautiful, and pull back. Feel the balance, feel the joy of the move. Looking where you're going and pulling back. Here's that layout, reaching around strongly, setting it down. Pulling up, now reach back, hands down. Step on it with that left foot and reach. Beautiful, and pull it over. Let's do that one more time. Let it fall back. Just feel the energy. Great. Do a layout over. Reaching all the way. Lovely. Now keep that left leg back. Your right leg is straight. And just reach up. And just bring that left hand out. Step on it. And bring it down and step down. So just do a little walk with the breath. Yeah, so we're always matching our breath, our hands, and our walk together. Inhale. So come on down. A little warmed up right there. Okay? So we're going to do a block and an elbow punch. Okay? I want you to do eight of those continuously with me. Right and left, starting with that right block. Back. We hear that breath. One more. Bring it down. Exhale. That'll get your heart racing just a little bit, right? Inhale, reach up. Come back and down into a horse stance. Nice and strong with this. A strong move right here. Let's do that one more time. We're going to start with our left hand. Punch and go. Four more. Four. Two more. And ease. So we're going to do straight punching, coming right down into that horse's stance, eight of them, nice and strong, coming through that board. Okay, so don't stomp it. And here we go, eight, six, four, three, one more, exhale, bring it down, now take it to the side, starting with your right hand. Make it snap. Make sure that your head is looking where you're going and where you're punching. Give me four more. Last one. And bring it down. So we're going to put those two things together. So do punches forward. Here we go. Right hand. Go. Two more. Side. Good. Four. Two, last one, big, exhale now. So reach your hips out, don't take your head down too far, and just reach out. Beautiful, open up your hands, take them behind you and interlock, keep your head up, keep your head up. Just stretch a little bit more. Turn and look over that shoulder, on your right, and turn and look over that left. Center and release. Stepping out a little bit further. 
You're going to reach out to me. Airplane hand. You're going to reach up. Now take your right hand across your body and look down at your heels as you like. You're going to reach down with your left hand. Come up and cross it. And exhale. Reach out again. Beautiful. Don't go down too far. Reach open. And come up. Take your left hand across. Reach up. Reach down. And hold. Exhale front. And down. Two more. We're going to do them a little bit quicker. So we change the rhythms. Open. Right comes across. Reach down. Come front. Reach down. Your plain hands. Come up, left hand across, reach up and over, nice and big, bring it down, and exhale. Beautiful. Place your hands here. So just here, I want you to reach up and just bring it down. Then you're just going to work those quads, pushing through your heels so you can feel those quads working. One of the hardest muscles actually to build that triceps. So don't come up too far. Now I want you to change it. Five, four, three, two. Are they exhausting? <laughs> yeah, you tell me. Reach up and exhale. Beautiful. Let's do that one more time. Bring it up. So remember, if you find it difficult, modify it. You don't have to come down all the way. You can just stay up here and you can just move gently. Otherwise, we're going to come down here. And just sleep with that head like somebody's pulling you right from the top and reach down, reach down, reach. Beautiful. And again, now look quick. Four more, three more, two more. You want to stop? Bring it up. And exhale out. So just give yourself some breath. And exhale. Ready to have a little bit of fun? Bring this in. So we're we'll going to do a little bit of Zumba. Four. And reach. Pull and reach. Now let's take it a little bit faster to tempo. Go. Now take it to the right side. Bring it to center. Nice and big. And to the left. And center. And take it over. Come back to center. Over to the left. Center. Now really come on. Here we go. Ha. Hoo. Hoo. Give me four more strong. Four. Nice and easy, hold it. Breath out, cross. And exhale down. I want you just to flow. This is called monkey bear. So we did some ballet. We did some Zumba. Did some Tai Chi. Martial arts. You're going to pause on that right leg. Pause. Now this is where the drama is. So just reach out. And open it up. Pull the chest forward. Down and flow back into monkey bear. Just easy. Yeah, bringing that breath down. I'm going to ask you to pause on that left side. Reach out. Can I get some drama right here? Pull that chest out. Monkey bear. Beautiful. And you're just going to stop in the center. Ready? Breath. Bring your feet together for me. We're going to come down into a squat position. So we move into the second phase of Shane Addicts. And the first one we're going to do is challenging because it asks, you're actually really trying to work this tricep muscle. So make sure that you're pulling your arms into you and not coming down like this. Your knees are tucked, your hands are reached out as far as you possibly can. And if you need to modify this, just come forward a little bit so you can modify everything that we do. So we're going to roll up our knees, hover over, chin comes out, you're holding that position, and rock back. Now sit back, open up the knees, and sit down into this. Great. And then pull the knees together again. So that releases that back. Let's do that again. As you rock forward, pull the elbows into you. Reach down, hold. Whoa! And push back. So is this perseverance one of the principles? Uh-huh. Can you 
guys talk to me? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to bring it, huh? Looks a lot easier than what it is, but it is so important and does so much. A couple more coming forward, reach down, look up, push back as strong as you can. Beautiful. And then open up. This is grasshopper. So you want to get those knees way up underneath you and let that back just stretch. We want to really target all three regions of the core. And then bring it in. We're going to do two more right here, bringing it forward and cover. And push back. Open it up. And one more. Look where you're going on this one. Reach down and press as hard as you can. Open up into that nice big diamond that you've got here, that grasshopper. And then come on up and take your slide your hands behind you. Because we always transition from every position just smoothly. And bring your feet up. So you're going to come forward. Now I want you to round, pulling your chin down. So if you can't do this, then just go as far as you can and come back up. What I'd like to see you do is to be able to solidly touch that back down. Lift the knees here and hold this position. So maybe if you want to modify it, you only have one or none. So you're right here. And then rock forward on this move. Bring your hands down, let your knees open. Pull forward. Exhale, give me a big scoop. Yeah, there you go. And come down. Rock down to your back. Keep your chin down, find your spot right there, and just bounce, so pull into this. Really pulling on all these muscles. You guys feel it? Yeah. Uh -huh. We're persevering? Yeah. We committed to do this today? Yeah. Ah, uh, you're the best. Come on up. Reach and come forward. We'll do that two more times, reach. Scoop it really big, look forward. Round down, pulling that chin in tightly. Each vertebra one by one down into it. Set it down and lift. Now I'm going to give you a challenge, just because. Lift and easy. Lift and easy. Beautiful. So, obviously not everybody's going to be able to do this. So they're just going to either stay down with all both feet down and just hold it. Set it down. Take those legs forward. Reach up. Yay! High five for everybody. Sit back. Slide down all the way. Reach. So your forward bend is one of the most important moves you're ever going to do. It opens the whole body up to be able to do and flow with other moves a lot easier. So really concentrate on this. Scoop for me, reaching out. Scoop. Stay down. Scoop. Don't pop up. Scoop. Give me two more. Give me one more. Now scoop up all the way up. And exhale that breath. And bring these feet up. Nice. So once again, you're just going to put your hands underneath here, and you're going to lift. So if you can't do this, you're just going to hold that and get some strength out of it just by pressing down into the floor. So reach up, you guys, and then I want you to shift forward. You're going to take your knees together, knee knock, and then just roll up so you now you're going to open up. It's actually more shoulders that are opening up. Can you feel that on your shoulders? Yeah. And then just push back and sit. Nice. Is that nice when you make that release? You just let it go. Let's try that again. So lifting, leaning forward. Come into knock knees. Beautiful. Come forward. Round it down. Let the shoulders. You're really getting more of a shoulder. This is a great move because you get a shoulder um, extension on this. Really opening it up. Your quads are engaged. They're stretching out. And you're coming down. Beautiful. Switch onto your right hip for me. So just sit on your right hip. Make sure that you're squared forward uh, towards me. Bring this hand out and take it over. Beautiful. Now you're going to take your hand out. This is one of my favorite moves. You're going to swing around. You're going to come up onto your knee and open up your left knee. And take your hand all the way back and open up your chest. Beautiful. And then bring it back around. Now watch. I'm going to push this water away. I'm going to build my right arm. So I'm just going to lean into this and close my knee. And then take it right back up again. Around, foot, and over. And then you're going to take it back behind you. Let's do that again. Press that water away. Look where you're going with it. Close it. Keep your weight on it. Let's do that two more times. 
reaching, opening the back, and down. So once again, if you need to modify this, you can just stay down, you guys do it. Go ahead, reach up and around. Lift your knees up, open up. You're gonna stay right back here and just do this. Yeah, and come back and sit down. One more time, you guys. Swing around. Open up the knees as much as you can. Open up the back. Push the water. Come front. Sit back down on it. Nice. And bring these. Beautiful. Give me a diamond. We're going to do the other side. This is a gyrokinesis move. They always do diamonds. Arcing curls. Pulling the chest down. Looking forward now. And then reach out. Let that chest fall. Feels so good to stretch that back. And open up. Round it around one more time as you bring that spine up nice and tall and bring it down. Good. Look where you're going. Let the chest fall. Bring it back up. Close that book. Your knees will sit to the side. So I do the same thing on this side. Reaching up and over. Letting it flow coming deep as you can. Squirt lock the shoulders. Don't let this go back. Stay looking on the floor. You want to open that up. Bring it down. Left hand under the floor. Sweep it around as you open up the knee. Do the best you can. Modify it if you need to by staying down. Now, let's push that water. Building some strength in our hands. Closing, so I'm holding myself up. Back around. Open the knee. And pull back. Beautiful. Push that water. Two more times. If you want to do it enough so that it's effective, you get a big stretch out. Because each time, you just start to do better on it. So the main thing is I want you to do with integrity is ask yourself, how hard am I trying? So that's called just checking in with yourself. Sit down. Now we're going to transfer onto our knees. So put your hands up and just come on up. Just say, hey, am I doing 100%? Because if you want 100% results, we need that. Yeah, you guys are doing good. So, inhale, reach out. Now take these hands across. And you're going to open the foot to the side. Your right hand. Beautiful. I want you to take this right hand in, turn the toe on the back, and push back into it. Straighten your leg and reach. Beautiful. Now open it up here. Now take your toe, put it straight. Now you need to down the strip. Really hugging yourself into this move. And then lift that left arm up. And exhale that breath. Let's do that again. Starting with the right foot. Comes right in front of you. Because you're actually going to tell that foot, that body, what to do. So you lift that heel up. And you're pressing back. And then reaching over. Deeply into this. Beautiful. Reach up. Make that full circle coming around and bring it down. Bring it up. Now match your breath and everything together as you pull the leg in and exhale, sit back. Nice. Ready to do that other side? Okay, inhale, reach up. And that left foot goes out. So, your left hand comes in and it pushes back. That heel is way up. You're looking at your heel. Bring it down. Big sweep to make that turn. Exhale, hug into your leg as deep as you possibly can. Feel that stretch. And come back up again. Nice. Let's do that again. So you're going to take that hand, push it back, lean back. Nice. Not going too far. Very effective on the oblique muscles and part of the back, your leg. Sweep it around and bring it down. And come back up. Beautiful. And bring it in. Nice. I want you to slide your hands up. I want to do uh, tail feather to uh, airplane. So I want you to sweep that foot up the back and bring that tail feather in. Once again, elbows in close, chin out. Reach down and push back. Do that one more time. Reaching that chin. Now, both feet go to the same side, going to the left. Now reach up. Maybe you're only going to get to be here. So if you want to modify it, you can stay here. If you want to open it, you can lay it right down on the other side. Pull it 
pull that, that airplane back up, bring it in, and sit. Exhale. Yeah. Good. Let's do that other side. You're so good on that. So we'll do two tip tail feathers, reaching out, pulling in, and reach out. Oh, yeah. Everything is working in that tail feather. One more. Take your feet in the same direction and take them around, going to the right, and then reach out. Maybe you want to stop right here. Work within your safety and your flexibility area and bring it down. Nice. And sit back. It's one of my favorite moves. Bring it back out again and step back into the down dog. Your feet should be one foot distance apart. Nice and strong, opening up the shoulders. I want you to step to the center and put that foot right between your chest and look up. And then I want you to take your hands off, bring this foot up, and balance. Oops. There we go. And set it down. Step back all the way. Straighten both legs. And exhale down. Good, move those hands forward, step back. Both feet down, opening up the shoulders. Step in, so that knee comes right under, lift up with your head, look forward, then take your right leg off and bounce. Beautiful, step back and move back. Exhale, reach. All the way, just hugging into that, feel that stretch. Moving forward onto your knees. Come on down. Turn around, sit. Onto your side and come up. So reach out. This is arrow. And you're going to reach down onto your back. Now as you come up, see if you can bring that teaser. But if you can't modify it, just take one leg out. You don't have to do that. Okay? And then set, set it down. And take it all the way down. Beautiful. Let's try that again. So it's a teaser in an arrow position. Take it away. So slowly melt it down. Beautiful. Come forward with that and exhale. Scoop one more time. I want you to come back like you're going to rest right on your elbows. So always working on that core, just lift. And then lift and bounce. Four, three, two, one. Nice and easy, reach up. Come over to a forward bend. Exhale down. Pull it together. Reach and cross. Right here. And pull. So we're gonna go up the same way that we came down. Bringing this in, walking into that squat position. Just nice and easy. So just softly take your head down to your knees. And then lift up into a nice, easy forward bend. Just relaxing as much as you possibly can.